Hello, my name is Carl Pover, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to apply the coloring technique of a heat map to a bar chart. This video is the first of a series of video tutorials based on extra material from my book, Learning Click View Data Visualization. If you want to follow along with this exercise, please download the files I use in this video at my blog, Harvesting Wisdom. You can also download the necessary files from the Pact Publishing website. Okay, let's get started. I've already created a simple bar chart that shows the top selling customers based on net sales. We will now add a heat map based on the profit generated by each customer to this bar chart. In the properties window of the bar chart, go to the expressions tab. Click on the plus sign next to the expression net sales. Click on background color and then in the definition text box open up the edit expression window. In the file menu click on color mix wizard. After a short introductory click on next. The first step of the color mix wizard is to define the expression that will determine the color of the bars. The expression we're going to use for this example is some project margin. Click Next. The profit margin can be both large and small. It can also be both positive and negative. So the first thing we're going to do is define the upper range color of the profit margin. Our upper range color will define as blue. So we'll click on the green button and we'll define a blue color. At the lower range of the profit margin, We'll select an orange. Since we want blue to define positive profit and orange negative profit, we have to define the moment at which profit turns from blue to orange. Therefore, we'll select the immediate checkbox and define the moment at which profit turns from orange to blue. Also, it is important to define the color that will define the immediate section. This color should be neutral. So let's change the yellow color to a gray. After defining our color scheme, let's click Next. Finally, in step three, a helpful option is to disable the Enhanced Colors checkbox. This will allow the extreme profit margin values to stand out more. To end the wizard, Click Finish. Click View will automatically create a formula based on the selections we made in the wizard. At some point, if we want to change the options we just defined in the Color Mix wizard, we could do so in the formula, or we could delete the formula that's here and go back to the Color Mix wizard and regenerate the formula. At this point, let's click OK. As you can see, now we have a formula defined as the background color of our net sales. If we click OK on the Chart Properties window, we now have a heat map embedded into our bar chart. Now, at a simple glance, in encoding data as color, we can see that many of our top selling customers are unprofitable. Finally, remember, according to our data visualization style guide, it is important to always add adequate labeling. So at this point, going back to the properties of the chart and the General tab, we're going to add a short title in the chart that explains the meaning of orange and blue. Clicking OK, we now have our finished chart. One last thing. We chose the colors of our diverging color scheme so that colorblind users can also take advantage of this great analysis. You can find colorblind safe color schemes in many websites, including one of my favorite, colorbrewer2.org. I hope this video helps you discover how easy it is to use color to add insight. You can find much more in my book, Learning Click View Data Visualization. Again, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Thank you for watching the video tutorial, and I hope to see you around.